Hey everybody, this is Brent at the Coffee Wire and uh, we have the second variety from El Lago Coffee that we're reviewing tonight. And uh, first of all, I want to apologize to the folks at El Lago because the last roast I did, uh, reviewed, I named the variety wrong. I said it was from Panama. It's not. It's from Guatemala. All the other stuff I said about it is what I thought, um, but I got the variety wrong. So I'm sorry. And I told everybody I would confess that on the next video, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, um, so much sorry for that. I did post a little tag in the video if you watch the video. Um, that's You'll see that in there, so there won't be any mistake as to what it is. But anyway, this is a Costa Rican bean, and it is roasted to a full city. And uh, this... This particular bean came from near the Irazu, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Irazu Volcano. And they say that the volcano actually has uh, influence over how this bean tastes. So um, I put this in a press pot uh, for about three minutes and um, with uh, about two, a little over 200 degree water. So uh, we're going to take a whiff here. See how it uh, smells. This is I I pick up a little bit of a chocolate in this, and again a, a little bit of a little bit of smoke, a little bit of caramel. It it uh, it's not sweet smelling, but I smell those characteristics of chocolate and and uh, and caramel and smoke in there. So uh, I'm gonna taste this now, and we're gonna see how that goes. Um, you notice I did say this is a full city, but you can tell. With me putting it in there three minutes, I think I've got a pretty decent cup of coffee here on the first shot. So let's see how it tastes. You can taste the full city in it. Um, it's definitely you, you drink it. It's got some got some acid on the back end, but it's not a bad acid at all. It's it's a it's a pleasant acid there. But the the taste itself, I do taste a little bit of that chocolate coming through there. More like a dark chocolate um, in there. But not very sweet. Not very sweet. And I don't really taste the caramel in there. Uh, you can smell a little bit, but you can't taste it. So uh, we've got a little... Uh, Little uh, little dark chocolate is what I'd say the undertones are, uh, but not much sweet, and that's probably because of the roast. Um, the farther along you roast these, the the uh, the more of the the flavors you would see in the cuppings, which might be a fruity type and a more sweet type of flavor in there. Those are going to be kind of roasted out, and you're going to get more of a a uh, coffee kind of taste to it. And uh, you can definitely taste that roast in there. It's it is a darker roast. A lot of people really like that. This is it's uh, very robust, uh, but uh, it does have some acid to it still, and uh, it does have some oil on the top still, which is good. <clears throat> and um, and all in all, not not a bad cup of coffee. I wouldn't brew this real strong. Um, of course, I kind of like my coffees a little bit on the lighter side anyway. So for me to get a dark roast, I would probably brew it a little bit, a little bit uh, weaker rather than a little bit stronger, uh, and uh, then you can kind of taste the characteristics of the bean. That's kind of how I am. I like to taste the characteristics of the bean. So, um, but anyway, El Lago. It's his Costa Rican. Um, it's called his boat roast. So uh, uh, there's going to be some links on the website. You can, if you uh, think you might want a coffee like this. Uh, go to thecoffeewire.com, check it out. You can um, get the links to El Lago Coffee from there, and uh, and uh, see if you if you uh, might want this this coffee here. Good evening. We'll see you. Bye.